Is it? There's always going to be controversial decisions in in football. Uh, the Premier League's obviously under the spotlight more than any other league in the world. I think it's fair to say, and we saw it um, last week, of course, at Spurs when they played Liverpool. That goal that should have been given that wasn't. And I'm going back to your game away at Old Trafford, where a lot of people think you should have had a penalty. I'm a Man United fan, so it was never a foul. But um, <laughs> is, is it now just part and parcel? Does it does it still annoy you when you go? I know it's going to annoy you, but how difficult is it, or easy is it for you to accept? any and every decision that's involved in day-to-day football nowadays? Yeah, I think I'm I'm generally fairly patient. There's that initial, when you're on the touchline and something goes against you and you can't believe it, there's that initial, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever it lasts for, where you are, yeah, you're fueled up and you're like, that, that's going to make a huge difference to today. It's going to make a huge difference to my job. going to make a huge difference to the season. And, and look, there's all of that at that moment. And then... Yeah, I've got to a place now where I'm a little bit confused with what I, I don't understand what's coming next. Whereas that, that that's where I think we need to get refereeing to, where most of the the country understand that. Oh, VAR, that looks like it's going to be a penalty. Oh, it is a penalty. That, that's good because everyone thinks it should be. Or oh, it looks like it's offside. Oh, it is offside. That's good. Whereas at the minute, I I'm a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm worried with where it is at this moment. I think there's too many surprises. Um, where you're, you're expecting something and it goes the other way. So I think they're, I'm sure they're working hard at it. I don't think anyone's making mistakes on purpose. I'm sure they're trying to improve it. But I, I think even, even from where it was last season, it feels like it's in a, it's in a slightly worse spot at the moment. Just quickly before we move on, are you for or against VAR, Gary? I've always been strongly for it because I think it makes complete sense. I just think it needs improving. Um, although at this moment, I think it's probably in the in the worst place it's been in. Um, so probably the closest to being against it that I've ever been. But I, I, I do still believe that it just needs improving. I just think I, I think slowing everything down, being able to see it again, having a fresh pair of eyes on it, I think it should all make it easier. But it, we just, I still don't think we're coming to the right conclusion often enough. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys, I want to talk to you about last weekend. Like, you had a great result against Aston Villa, 1-1. I thought you played really well. Might, might have even nicked it, but then I'm talking about the week before where you beat Manchester City. I mean, what a result yes. that was against the best team in Europe. That's a fact. Um, is that your proudest moment as a manager? And also, tactically, did the boys do absolutely everything you asked them to do when it came to beating Manchester City? Yeah, it was... Um, so, yeah, tactically, they, the boys were excellent. Um Obviously, Man City are they're incredible, but they they are very well structured. So, um, I, we played against them last year, obviously at Bournemouth, and um, went with sort of a similar setup, but probably slightly too aggressive. So, learned quite a bit from that experience. Tried to just make sure it was um, a little bit more secure. Uh, lads took it on board really well. Like me putting it on a tactics board is easy, as as you know. The the, the bit that the lads have to do is the difficult bit and for them to go out and implement it the way they did um yeah was it was incredible i think they are they are the best team in europe and in the world probably uh and then i think the fact they had no rodri makes a big difference it does um you can sort of manage to slow the momentum and he's always the one that finds a way to to get them ticking again so that was probably a a plus for us um but yeah incredible result i think there was some there were some highs last season obviously winning away at tottenham with with Bournemouth and mm. managing to beat Liverpool at home with Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, to beat to beat Manchester City when they hadn't lost a game this season and um, Pep, the best, probably the best manager ever. Um, I'm sure Andy may disagree with Sir Alex Ferguson, but yes, he's definitely 100%. up there. <laughs> yeah, um, but they're not yeah, the best manager ever or the best manager at the moment. Sure. So um, to beat to beat him and, and Manchester City and especially what it meant for the lads and the fans because we'd had a couple of Disappointing results, you know, away at Luton, we weren't at our best and had to scrap out a 1-1 with 10 men. Um, we'd lost earlier in the week in the Cup. Um, so to go to go against Manchester City at home in front of the home fans and, and put on a real big display and win was a, was a big boost for everybody. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.